Here I have an Alpine CD receiver, uh, CDA-9855. Really awesome unit here. Big display, lots of features. I really like this. I, I kind of want to put it in my car from using it. <clears throat> um, looks really nice on the front. It's really, uh, this one's in really good condition. It's, br it's pretty much brand new as far as I know. Um, really shiny, no use marks. This is really cool here. There's this touch pad thing and you can select stuff with it. So I think that's pretty cool. And you press the function button on what you want to do. So yeah, there's that. I have a disc in it. Works great. Um, eject function here for the disc. Pretty cool. Just like that. <coughs> and you press it again. So there's that part. Um, source, you can go from tuner to a CD player. Uh, also, you can hook up a bunch of stuff in the back. Pretty sure this has four volt pre-outs. Yes, it does. This right here. Um, I'll get into some of the function or uh, menu. So again, use down here. Has a media expander. Sounds way better with this on. Multicolor illumination. Very detailed. Very, very detailed. You can program different modes, different user modes. So here we'll go six or four. Um, if I get that right. Sometimes I don't know what button to press. <laughs> Not the right one. Okay, yep. <clears throat> so you can go through very fine increments of color. I think there's 360 different Oh, more. Jeez. The color changes ever so slightly to purple, getting to red, pink, orange. Yeah, you get the point. Very, very customizable that way. I think that's really cool. I've never, I've never exactly seen myself uh, with a deck with that many uh, shades. <laughs> Uh, factory EQ, you can just, uh, pick, you know, pop, rock, uh, hip-hop, electronic, whatever. Pretty standard. Um, this is the easy menu. I'm gonna try to get it switched to the advanced one. Data download, not totally sure what that's for. I'm guessing there's some more stuff you can customize or updatable software. Here, we're in the setup. You just adjust the modes, beep, uh, auxiliary on or off, it's off right now. Steering. Got left hand drive. I'm wondering if uh, it has an accelerometer in it, I'll have to look that up. That'd be pretty crazy that can sense your steering or something, I'm not totally sure what that was for. Tilt, you can just adjust the tilt of the deck depending on where you're seated, if you're tall or whatever.
pretty standard again. Um, pro menu, <laughs> that's what we want. Um, I'm guessing everything's just a bit more. Yep, you can customize the media expander now. You have a crossover option so you can choose the frequencies to, wow, with a, with a, a user interface display, that's really nice. So you can, um, wow, adjust the uh, level, the decibel level of uh, each uh, frequency range. Time correction. Okay, wow, that is, that's really high, high end for sure. Depending on how far your speakers are away from you, you can adjust the milliseconds of delay between speakers. So farther spe or closer speakers, you'd put more delay so that all the speakers, no matter how far away they are from you in the car, sound synced to the point zero millisecond which is that's crazy that's awesome parametric eq this this has a really high quality equalizer that is crazy this is this is by far the most complex deck i have ever used uh very interesting and the condition it's in it it, it comes in a box and this it looks to be never mounted in a car so i'm it's brand new i'm pretty sure so yeah that's the pro menu and yeah you know just everything else is pretty straightforward basic functions you got the volume adjuster um song selector mute play menu yep this, this thing's really cool might be might be kind of annoying when you're actually driving but yeah so i'm just going to turn the deck off now and show you the goodies in the back so here's the back of the deck Wiring harness goes in there, um, steering wheel control, volume control here, uh, another auxiliary type of input there, radio, a uh, set of three pre-outs, and then the four volt DC-DC uh, converter here for the four volt pre-outs, and then another uh, auxiliary stuff for iPod or whatever can be connected to it. Anyways, I, I thought this was a pretty cool deck. Uh, one of the best ones I've seen so far, especially even even from Alpine, uh, should be worth quite a bit in the condition it's in. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Any questions or uh, anything you, you want to share about this, just put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.